It's a native hibiscus. Its whole name used to be Hibiscus sabdorifera, I think. I'm not sure. And it's now called Aliogyne hackeofolia. Because it's got leaves supposedly a bit like a hackeo, I suppose. Pretty little flower, isn't it? I'm being eaten alive by mosquitoes. They're eating my legs and my arms. You can see it does look a bit like a hibiscus. So, a portrait of an Aliogai in Hackeofolia. In the afternoon sunlight, delicate. Isn't it lovely? Turn it upside down and you've got a dress, an evening gown, haven't you? A pretty evening gown. Where are the butterflies? They were here a minute ago. Saturday afternoon. It's like a jungle here after the rains lately. There's so much foliage everywhere. So many leaves, I don't recognise the place. I can get lost walking around this place. I really don't recognise this place. Look, these loquat trees have just escaped out of their pots. They're in small pots, but they've escaped. I suppose I have to leave them where they are now. Looks like a tropical jungle. Look, I've never seen a loquat tree with leaves that big before. Not that big. Looks like equatorial forest or something. Look at the size of it. They've escaped out of their pots. So here's that one. That's a smaller one, but still, it's still big. Still quite big. It's escaped out of its pot. What am I going to do? They've got their roots in the ground now. So big. I'm just 
can't get over how big they are. The leaves are enormous. You wouldn't believe it. Let's have a look at the pot down below. You wouldn't believe it how, how they've escaped. Look, it's only in a tiny pot. Where is it? Where's the pot it's in? One giant low pot tree out of a tiny pot. There's the tree there. It's obviously escaped. What am I going to do? It's taken over. All out of a tiny pot. Amazing. Selfie time. Selfie time. Snap. To make a beautiful indoor plant. Gorgeous. I used to bring it indoors, but I just left it out and it got carried away. <laughs>